Hello guys, today let's explore a handy tool in the Compose Animation Toolkit, Animated Content. It's a built-in composable that simplifies animations between different UI elements. Animated Content makes it easy to customize transitions between composables. Let's see it in action by animating a number value. Tap on buttons to witness the smooth increase and decrease animation. So here first let's create a new file. So here first I will take a row layout and in that row layout I will place those three elements on the horizontal axis. So here let's take the row layout. So here in this row layout, first let's use the field icon button and in this let's use the icon. And in these two icon buttons, we will use our text composable. So here let's use our text composable. Let's use different styling and give some padding. So here is our text in between these two field icons. But this text we need to animate. So here Let's put this text composable in the animated content. So here we have this animated content. So this needs the target state. So here first let's create a state where we will keep the number value. So here we have our state with the default value of 1. So let's use this display number as the target state of this animated content. And this also needs the label parameters. So let's add that label parameter. And let's put these two things on the separate line. So here let's use this text as the content of this animated content. And we need to use this target state in our text. So here let's use this display number. Next thing how this number will be updated. So here we have these two field icon buttons. So let's first use here display number plus plus. So when we will click on this icon then we will increase our number. And in the same way let's use that display value here and decrease it. So here let's use this minus symbol. But here let's also put a if check. So here we will say if this display number is not equal to 0 then only we will update this number with the decreasing value. We also have a parameter called enabled. So here we will say if the display number is not equal to 0 then we will only enable this button. If this value is 0 then this button will be disabled. So now we can use our composable function in our main activity and see how this is animating. So let's press these buttons. Now we can see our text is being animated to the new content when we press this increase button. So let's press this decrease button. So here our content is decreasing and when it will be zero, so it will disable this button. So let's go back to our file first. And here let's scroll and press Ctrl B on this. 
so here we can see they are using this fade in as the animation specs with this scale in as the default value we can also change this transformation to something more good so let's go back to our file so here we have this transition specs so here let's use our content transform so this content transform needs this target content enter and this initial content exit so we need to specify two transformation first thing what will be the animation when this target content will be enter it means when the new number will enter so for this we will use the slide in vertically with fade in so here let's use this slide in vertically and let's use this plus with fade in so we will use these two transformation and for the initial content exit let's use that slide out vertically with fade out so let's run our app again and see how this is looking so let's press this increase button here it is sliding up but we can see it is sliding from the center so we can modify this behavior also so here let's press control b so here we can see on this slide in vertically here they have set the initial offset to the half of that height so we can make it to the full so let's go back to our file so here we will set the initial offset to that whole height and in the same way let's use this slide out vertically for this slide out vertically we need to provide this target offset so here let's use this negative value as the total height and run it again so let's press this button so we can see here we have our animation as we expected so now we can see it is sliding in vertically so when we will increase our number value then this animation is looking perfectly good but when we will decrease our value then again this animation is exactly same so here we need to make this content transform just opposite when the target value will be decreasing so here let's use this if block so here we have this axis of target state so let's compare this target state with the initial state so if the target number is larger then it needs to slides up and fades in so let's also use a comment and let's use this content transform in this if block and here let's use the else block and let's copy this content transform and first let's put a comment also so here we will just opposite these values so here we will provide this negative value and for the slide out vertically we will provide this positive value so let's run it again let's click on this button so here we can see our text is animating perfectly and let's also decrease this value and here we can see now it is sliding down to set the offset of these slide in vertically and slide out 
vertically there is a general rule if you need to set the offset to something at the top of the content then you need to specify the negative value and if you want to specify the offset in the bottom then you need to provide the positive value so this was all for this video in the next video we will look into that update transition animation to animate multiple values so if you don't want to miss the next video do subscribe thanks for watching